Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101 here once again in front of everybody's favorite backdrop. We gotta come up with a name with this for this because we don't have the shed anymore. So what do you think? What's the hashtag gonna be? You know, it's gonna come in pretty handy during the winter, especially when we're not out like doing woodsy knife type stuff. But anyway, Christmas is right around the corner. I'm here to stoke the fires of consumerism on the altar of preparedness. And even if you don't have the time to maybe get one of these things as part of a Christmas gift, we all know that grandma's gonna give you an Amazon gift card. So, gotta know what to spend it on, right? Lord knows you have enough knives. I got something from Anchor to review. I am always try to stay on top of the latest power banks because I was the first one to ever review Anchor stuff. There's a reason why I don't review the other brands, and trust me, they ask pretty much every time I put up a, a video. It's because I don't want to. If it ain't broke, why fix it? I have never, ever, ever, ever had a problem with an Anchor product, so I am comfortable recommending them. So, gonna get a little bit of a bonus in this one. I'm gonna show you the item that was sent for review and we'll go through this pretty quick because Anchor is kind of like a known commodity. We know they work. Uh, it's merely a matter of highlighting what's different and seeing if that's some sort of feature that you absolutely need. But the bonus is gonna be, I actually purchased two Anchor products on my own for my own purposes. Uh, one of which could be considered uh, part of the preparedness pack. One really isn't, but we, Life is not just all about preparedness and that sort of thing, right? There's things that we use all the time. This is a pretty cool item, so I thought I would just throw it in here as a bonus to show you since it's coming up on Christmas. So the main thing that we're gonna look at today is the smaller version of the last power bank that I reviewed, and that is the Anchor uh, Power Core 2 10,000. So this is the smaller, more pocket-sized one, and it is like super fast as far as charging stuff. And then we'll get into the bonus items. So if you wanna find out more about this, don't go away. So some of the key things about the PowerCore 2 10,000 says uh, access to unrivaled charging speeds for Apple, Quick Charge, and more. It's got Power, Power IQ 2.0, which is the newest generation of their, uh, I mean, they've got a whole bunch of different ones. So you really gotta look at this stuff and kind of weigh it against your devices, what's gonna work the best for you. But they got a lot of different types of smart charging tech and uh, Power IQ 2.0 is their most, most recent. It, it adapts to your own devices, you know, whatever the charging protocol is for the device that you use, that's what it does. So it's gonna make it uh, as fast as possible. Now this is what's really interesting and I was wondering when they were finally going to do this. Uh, Power IQ 2.0 is now multi-directional which means it's going to take advantage of Power IQ on the input as well. So I hope all of them are going to be like that going forward. Uh, just makes it a lot faster to charge. So it's saying in as little as four hours charge time, uh, you'll get, have this thing topped off. It's compatible with Quick Charge, AFC, and Power IQ 2.0, which means if you're using a special anchor charger, which I'll show here later, it can use that uh, on the input to just help it charge faster. On the output, it's uh, five volts, three amps, nine volts, two amps, and uh, 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So that's the Power IQ 2.0. It, it's gonna adapt to the devices. Uh, it does not support full speed charging for some USB-C devices. So the ones that they have listed are the Nexus 6P 5X or the Google Pixel. Uh, not compatible with Samsung W700, which I don't even know what the hell the W700 is. It is compatible with the almighty 
Samsung Note 8. So, charge in there. Right there it says fast charging. Charging 54%, approximately 55 minutes until fully charged. So I forget, I think this has like a 3000 mAh battery or somewhere around that on the Note 8, but it does immediately kick it into fast charging on the Note 8, so it's going as quickly as possible. I did another thing that I had that I purchased through Amazon. I got some new Power IQ cables, or not Power IQ, uh, what the hell are these things called? Power. Crap, I don't know. There's too many uh, Power This and Power That. I think they're called Power, power Line Plus. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't plan on mentioning the cables, but here they are. Uh, because I got the uh, Note 8, I had to get myself some new uh, USB-C cables. I've been bouncing back and forth between micro USB and USB-C. First I had micro USB, then I got the Note 7. I had to get USB-C. Then the Note 7 turned into a bomb and I had to give it back. And then I had to get a uh, what, an, an Edge S7 Edge. And then I had to get the USB minis again. Or uh, this is now I'm back to this again and I needed some actual cables instead of just those little adapters. So I just got these because they last longer. It's that simple. So this one is a lot more pocketable. It's not the one that I typically use if I'm gonna be doing some sort of power use during the day. Uh, it's not the one that I use in the house. The one I use in the house is the larger one. So I keep this one for when I actually leave the house because it's smaller, but if I'm in the house, I'm using the, uh, the larger one, the, the 20,000 version. And if that one needs topped off, then I'll generally switch it to the other 20,000. Which, what's this one? I think this was the original Power Core 2. I don't know. God, they have so freaking many. Uh, it doesn't have as much of the of the crazy fast speed that these ones do, but it's a great one, and it's got three ports. But too many, too many anchors. This one is about the small one. And if I remember correctly, on Amazon, these things ran about uh, 29 bucks. So... I do anchor videos a lot because aside from knives and flashlights, I would actually put anchor batteries above flashlights uh, in, in terms of importance, at least for me. It may not be for everybody, but in t uh, for EDC items, I'm always on this phone. I need it to run. And I can, I've got different chargers that I can plug into my anchors uh, if i got to charge 18650s or anything like that. So, I mean, these are just... Out of everything, I use these the most. I'm, I'm actually using these more hours during the day than I am knives. So that would have, have to be you know, the most important item. Well, not the most important. You guys are going to freak out. Um, oh, go to have an axe. No, I'm saying as far as everyday carry items that you would go you know, thinking about what you want to buy, these are the things that get used the most. So what else do I got? So the next item was a necessity that I had to order. I lost one of my anchor batteries and that was the uh, PowerCore Fusion 5000. That's the one that doubles as a wall charger and has 5000 uh, mAh for portable power. It didn't have a lot in terms of all the whiz bang fancy stuff like Power IQ 2.0 or anything like that. It's just, it was really good that it could double as a wall charger. Well, I lost that and I lost my speaker. I think I just left it somewhere. So I looked at all the ones on Amazon and they've got a bunch. But what it really came down to is like, if I'm gonna buy one, let me get the, the latest and greatest one. So this one is the PowerPort, let me get in here, PowerPort Speed with four ports. And it's maybe just slightly smaller than the PowerCore Fusion and it's nice and pocketable maybe not probably what's going to go in your bag and i like that it has the flip out plug now i've noticed on amazon these are not like anchor products but there is a company that makes a lot of these uh, closed cell eva uh, closed cell protective cases uh, for the different size anchor batteries 
just so you're not banging your stuff up. And I think they even have them for this. So what is spent? Why did I go with this one? Well, let's go down the list here. Uh, this has Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So it's uh, charging speeds are up to four times faster than standard chargers. And I think Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 is like the fastest right now. And then it's also got Anchor's uh, proprietary power IQ and voltage boost uh, for the fastest possible charge on any devices that are not uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Uh, it's got a hardware matte exterior, so it's pretty scuff resistant and that sort of stuff. And then it's got some details and things to make this thing look all fancy schmancy. Uh, it's got a multi-protect system, protects, uh, it's got, so that's offering surge protection, short circuit protection, temperature control. Uh, so when you've got your most important things plugged into this thing, it's got a level of protection, so if, uh, I don't know, some crazy uh, solar storm hits your power outside and it doesn't fry your, I don't know, I'm just saying, it's got all that safety type stuff in there. So, yeah, this is, I think this is pretty much the fanciest uh, wall plug that they have. And this, again, this is in the upper 20s. So... It, this is this is very important to me when I'm traveling or going somewhere because it's got the four ports because it's fast I'm not sitting around waiting for everything to charge and even if I am uh, what I can do I think these ports are even faster than the built-in ports on the anchor powerhouse so what I can do with that or, I mean, I can even use that to do, I think, uh, I think I would be able to use eight USB ports at that point. Let me, let me find out real quick. Let's, let's, let's look at that. Yeah, the, uh, the powerhouse, this is my power unit for camping weekends. Uh, it'll get me through the whole friggin' weekend. So just on this right here, you've got four uh, power IQ USB outputs, but I can just go ahead and power on the AC and then use that one. Now I've got eight ports, plus it's gonna charge faster. So I don't know how you would have eight USB items that need charged out camping, but I'm just saying, uh, I'm thinking modularity. I haven't tried that yet. I just thought of it right here, but it's like, yeah, I mean, I could, these ports, or at least that one right here is going to charge a little bit faster than that. So if you got something that's critical that you need charge fast, you know, you can go ahead and, and do it that way. Or if you have like, say, uh, what was it called? The uh, Anchor Turbo, which was one of these power packs, but it charged like super crazy fast if you used the 12 volt car charger. Wow. Well, you can go ahead and use that on this. So, yeah, this thing's uh, pretty versatile. So, lastly, let's take a look at this other one, this other anchor product that I bought. Uh, that's not like really a prepper item, but it's great for camping. I can say that much. And uh, this is replacing my uh, Soundcore uh, Bluetooth speaker that I had before. So, this is like one of the newer ones, and this is the Soundcore Boost. So this one's got even more kick to it than the old one does. It's got, you know, some pretty big subwoofers. Uh, it's got the ability to switch this thing up to get some more bass out of it. So let me go ahead and power this thing on. And get it synced up to my phone. Okay, so let's go down uh, what the stats is on this one. So all you gotta do is there's a button here that says up. So you hit that and that's going to uh, boost the bass on it. It's got uh, 20 watts uh, speakers, dual high performance drivers, two twin passive subwoofers. Listens up, you can listen up to 12 hours on a single charge. I think that kind of varies honestly. 
Um, I got a little less than that, but it's if you think about it, a lot of that is going to vary depending on the volume. Like how much uh, how how much do you got it cranked? The more volume that you got, the more you're going to use your juice. But it still lasts a really good long time. Uh, it's got NFC pairing, which I have not messed with. Uh, Bluetooth, unless that's unless I messed with it and didn't realize that's just what it was doing. Uh, Bluetooth 4.2 uh, provides play from up to 66 feet, and it's got an aux in port uh, for plug and play. It's got a built-in microphone, turns it into a hands-free speakerphone, and it has a 5200 mAh external USB port, which allows you to listen and power up simultaneously. So, I just learned something. <laughs> This thing doubles as a friggin' battery. Holy crap. So I could chart, you know, in a pinch, I could be jamming out to some tunes, charging. Let's try that. Wow, I didn't even notice that because why would I even think to look at that? Yeah, you learn something new every day. Let's plug that in. A speaker that's also a battery. Holy crap, it works. Let's see here. It's not, uh, it, it looks like it's not like any kind of the crazy uh, super, it, it did not kick in like uh, fast charging on this, but it's charging. That's just a little, so yeah, this is now officially a prepper item. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even notice that. Wow, look at me, I'm so stupid. So you, this is the part where I get to say goodbye to monetization because I mean, if you're gonna, check out a speaker kind of got to know what it sounds like right Let's try some other stuff here. I mean the speaker sounds freaking amazing look let's not I don't need all your comments about the music choice okay it just seemed like the perfect genre for like testing out a speaker. So if you're a Luke Bryant fan or something like that, I don't need to hear about it. Okay, it's just a test. I just gave up my monetization so you can hear the freaking speaker. Okay, so this thing, yeah, it's not, obviously it does not have the oomph that my uh, hardened car, what the hell, I can never remember the name of it. It's this big, giant, crazy Bluetooth speaker that I have. It's not as big as that, but as far as the small portable speakers, I've had a bunch of speakers that are about this size, and this one is by far the best. Let me go ahead and try this again, but I'm gonna switch off, see if we can notice. I don't know, going through the microphone into the camcorder, if we're gonna get the best, or you can actually tell uh, sound check, but let's go ahead and just test that real quick. So the, the bass, bass up is not on. Now, I can tell the difference with the bass. I don't know if you can. I can tell the difference there when that happened. down a little bit. I 
I think you can tell a little different, uh, a little better when I do it that way. Okay, I could have just been killing your eardrums for no good reason. Uh, there's no way for me to really tell until I get it in editor how that's going to actually sound, if it was too loud or, or anything like that. Bottom line is, I'm very happy with this speaker, uh, especially in my place. It, it's, it's loud enough without getting too loud. The other one that I have, which has to stay plugged in because the battery failed in it for whatever reason, that can really... Uh, blow your eardrums but this this is this is perfect for camping and stuff like that it's definitely better than the old one that I had the regular sound core which had been around for about two years so there you go there are a couple different things from anchor you know one that was sent for review and I just decided to go ahead and pair it up with two other things that uh, I actually purchased for myself and all three of them are probably best in category for the small portable, for the wall chargers, and for the portable speakers. That I mean, they got a bunch of different speakers, but in that size range, I've had several. I've had JBLs and uh, different brands, and definitely my favorite. Well, it sucks that little demonstration reviewing that speaker is probably gonna kill my monetization because of. The sneaky little algorithms that's sniffing out music um, but oh well I, I figured that if I'm gonna show you something like that yeah see it's still hooked up to my phone so I'm getting alerts one of you is probably sending me a message but being able to uh, that's another thing I do is, I'm, is I'll have that hooked up and I don't always hear my phone but if I've got it hooked into that and it's a lot easier to hear the alerts when you're working but at least that way you've, you've got to actually hear it if you're in the market for that sort of thing. And hey, it's got the ability to actually charge something. So it's got a little prepperness hidden inside of it. And I hadn't seen that on any of the other speakers. If it was there, I didn't notice it, but that's nice. So basically it's got the same capacity as that Anchor uh, Fusion 5000 did. So there's that, they're Anchor products, so you know you can find them on Amazon, which means they are in the Prepared Mind 101 Amazon page. And I will also put links to Anchor's page in case you wanna look at any of their other stuff. So that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepared Mind 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click a like, share, and subscribe. Check all the links in the description box below. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then. But. Did you get a vengeful one yet? Because I see there, those little out of stock flags are popping up pretty quick on DLT. So get on that, you know, just saying. Don't want you to be like left out or nothing.